not a fan of Dash 16 hose ends. Everything about these things just suck. All right, another day back out in the shop. Plan for today. Finally ordered the right weld-in fittings, I think. I'm gonna try to get the other bung welded in this radiator. I got that guy welded in the other night. It's not pretty, but I think she'll hold. This one needs a little bit of love. I screwed that one up just a little bit, so to get a little creative and fill in a little bit of gap. We also got the rest of the fittings for the vent line and we'll get that guy knocked out. That guy should go up, around and back down. So we'll get that vent line run and then all of the fuel lines should be done. We sprayed some paint on a few parts while we were waiting. Turn the plentum black. Just looks a little nicer. It's kind of a little eh. We are feet on the ground and ready to go for the evening here and we'll get after it. Turn on some more cameras and let's get going. All right, you guys got to see me jumping around a minute ago. Show you what happened up close. So because I'm not a great boot guy in the shop, I wear my tennis shoes and a piece of that hot aluminum came off and uh, went through my shoe, burnt plumb through my sock and stuck a chunk of aluminum in my foot. My, my wallet's a little cold, which is counterintuitive because now we're letting the radiator cool down a little bit because the material's starting to get a little too hot. Burnt my arm on the radiator, reaching across to lay my torch down. So here we are at a break for a few minutes and uh, we'll be back with you in a minute. Have fun. My arm hurts, you big baby. Now we gotta figure out whether or not those are gonna fit in there. I think that sucker's pretty tight, what do you think? Too tight. I think it'll be all right, but it's definitely tight. All right, let's put the water neck on it. I think the water neck, the nuts are on the water neck. Did you put just a touch of silicone on there? Nope. Didn't have anything on it when I took it apart. It's got that rubber seal on the thermostat itself. We might have to cut this stud off. There's a stud that sticks out of one of these bolts and we might be getting pretty close to the hex on the fitting. Let me grab a ratchet because this is too tight. Hey, come back here. Small hose is much nicer. You just push it on there and boop, manhandle it down a little bit. Close. I think that's it. All right. Give us a little drip, 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 and then we'll cry. That was much less scary. Oh. That's it. So 
So the other bad news is that we need to put the cross brace in and put the seat back in to run these lines because we have to clear the seat. So everything has to go around, come back up through here. But we need to know where we're gonna have to go because we're gonna have to cross over, which means somewhere in here, this has to cross over. All right, so we're gonna end the night. Here's what we got going. A whole bunch of body panels had to go, or interior panels had to go back in because we gotta figure out where to run those hoses. So we think we've got this guy mapped out. It's gonna come out, cross the tube, underneath the floor, underneath the seat, back up to that fitting rat cheer. And then, and then, actually that fitting's gonna go to, nope, that's right. This fitting then is gonna come out of here, across here, down through here, up through that hole, into the fitting on the back of the doghouse. So that's where we're at. Fittings are welded in the radiator. They ain't beautiful, but I think they'll hold only a minor catastrophe. It's gonna be a big old ugly burn, but so goes life, right? And we are packing up shop. Bye. Good morning, back out in the shop with you guys again. We are continuing on getting hosed. Finally tracked down all the fittings we needed. PSC, I'm sure because of the hammers, is uh, backed up a little bit. Found all our fittings we needed at Trail Gear. Um, they're only a couple hours away from us. Didn't run over there, we did have them shipped. Showed up today, but all of our GIC 90s are here. Pulled the seat bar out because we need to move some of these hoses over to the other side of the trans but you can see the medusa hair sticking off of that thing going every which way so we're gonna get on this guy this morning i've got this uh radiator hose run from the front back to here <clears throat> we're gonna figure out routing and tie-in i'm gonna get that guy cut wrestled in there and we are I think for the most part today on hoses. I'm going to really push to see if we can't get the steering completely plumbed in today. I think I have everything but one fitting, which we might have to make a run to town for, but I don't think it's anything too horrendous. Uh, Napa's had the one. Um, I might see if they have a U-hose that will fit this guy right here to plug it off. And then we will be plumbed in hopefully by the end of this day with all of the high pressure lines that we need but we'll see let's get after it Sixteen hose ends. Everything about these things just suck. Again. Yep. Living in the seat. Hose hitting me in the back of the legs. Excess tape hanging out of the fitting. Good thing we don't do this for a living, huh? Okay. And away we go. Wait. I don't know if that's going to be able to do that.
been a pain in the butt. I don't know why anybody's surprised about that. Every single thing we've put on has been a pain in the butt. Part of it is because it has to go between two bars and around a corner and up through a hole. It doesn't exactly line up right. I know on the ram which one's which, but I don't know on the orbital valve which one's which. I know you had that picture of the other day and it showed us. Yeah, I've looked at a lot of parts since then. Might have to zip tie it on there as we go down and then just cut the zip ties off later. All right, we're gonna get out of here for tonight. We didn't get as much done as we'd hoped. And we ended up running to town searching for parts. Hoses are on for the front ram. Pops trying to get the alignment squared away on the orbital valve. Got a little bind issue going on, so he's fighting with that. Everybody's good there. We did find that we were too tight on our seat to rear steer valve direction. So what we did is we ran to town, ended up grabbing these here fittings. They're a orbital valve thread to a GIC-8. These guys will go in here. I'm gonna have to take the valve out, but you'll get the idea. And point forward so that we can run our lines out of here. And that'll reduce the length. It used to be like that guy. You see how much we shortened up. That'll make it so that our seats don't interfere with our directional valve. Keep us from having to relocate that guy and all the mess that comes along with that. But thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.